Hi, I'm Gary Harper. About a year and a half ago, I created a video out of desperation in an attempt to maintain some sort of contact with my granddaughter who lives in St. Louis. The reason that contact had more or less ceased was due to an incident that occurred in April of 2010 in which a family member mistakenly uh, believed that I had uh, abducted their child even though we were all staying in the same hotel room together. Uh, that story became overblown and you know, not only had I had taken this child without the mother's permission, that I had taken the child into the city of Portland and where we, we went on a, you know, a wild spree of doing whatever I really don't know. That, that is mistaken and incorrect. I have photographs and have created a highly scientific synopsis of what actually happened and seeing that my photographs are time stamped and are geolocated, uh, it kind of blows the family member's story right out of the water and uh, at this point it's, it's not something I care to pursue because I think people would rather believe lies than rather than be confronted with you know hard evidence. This is pretty much the uh, times we live in, and certainly we have others that are in high positions of authority that are pretty much in that same line of thinking that the whole world is telling a lie, so anything that comes out must be a lie. I received an email from uh, a server known as uh, mail.com which is a rather benign server it serves a lot of people uh, that have legitimate purpose the sender was listed as your granddaughter at mail.com and I have this email and there were several things in it that made me, gave me you know, a reason to not believe they were from my granddaughter and the most the most certain of which is uh, that this person stating they were my granddaughter uh, stated that we went to the city of Portland on that day. Well, that's completely ridiculous. That never happened. In fact, we were never more than, I believe, 105 yards from the hotel at all times. The hotel that my daughter was asleep in. So... And there's been a number of other things that I'm not going to go into detail about. I mean, you know, the things that other family members have said, which are pretty far out of line. But what I did say in the in my return to whoever, my return email to whoever sent that, was that I would find out who they were. And I did. So, so I received this email from this mail.com address, your granddaughter, this being the sender, and managed to track the IP address and tracked it all the way to the, its origination. And the origination was the home of a special education teacher in a small town uh, just south of St. Louis. Uh, just so happens that the grades that she's teaching just happen to fit in with the age of my granddaughter. And I find this a little bit uh, troubling, actually. Everyone seems to think that you know, the internet is this great big place where they can hide behind the screen, and I'd like to I suggest otherwise in that I have enough detail here within your the email that you sent and, and one of the things that was listed in the email was actually you need to be careful on the internet 
what you put out there because people can track you down. Well, you know, maybe perhaps you should listen to your own words because I did track you down. And I know that the person that wrote that email is not my granddaughter. With that in mind, I would like to just state that I have your direct supervisor's number, Miss K. And then I have the, you know, direct number to the head of the Department of Education there in Missouri. I know that there are very strong laws against internet bullying there in Missouri as well. I would never do anything that would cause damage to you. What would I gain from releasing this to the public, releasing my information to the public? My, my gain would be zero and your loss would be enormous. So what I would suggest to you is that you really examine the cases that you feel are socially fit to insert yourself into in an attempt to help your students or help uh, the parents of your students. Because you really put yourself out on a limb there. And um, I'm certain that everyone believes they've done the right thing, but I can assure you, and I have the credentials to back my credibility up, um, I can assure you that I can make you look as if you really uh, are someone who should not be in a position of authority. To the big K, you're really rather foolish uh, to think that I would fall for this nonsense, sending an email to me that is obviously written by a, an adult. And you did a really poor job of presenting that. Um, I think you could have done a little bit more to make it convincing because it wasn't convincing. And to my ex-wife who believes that everyone's on board and everybody is doing everything in the best interests of the child, who believes that it's uh, perfectly legitimate to uh, send emails to my mom stating that I'm mentally unbalanced, given your own situation, maybe maybe you're actually are qualified to make that comment, given your past history. And to my daughter who cannot trust me, uh, you might want to take a look at, in the mirror and see who you really can't trust. So it didn't work. I'm not going to be in contact with anyone. But uh, people that bully others on the internet should be very careful because I can change your life quickly and legally. Be cool.